My eyebrows, as a man, I'm not allowed to pluck them either. So what about the woman? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لَعَنَ اللَّهَ النَّامِسَ وَالْمُتَنَمِّسَ Allah curses the woman who plucks her eyebrows and the woman who plucks them for her. وَالْوَاشِمَ وَالْمُسْتَوْشِمَ And the woman who tattoos another woman, the woman who, does, who gets it tattooed for herself. And the woman who files her teeth or makes them wider in order to look nicer just for nothing like that. She is cursed. So you said pluck your eyebrows, then you said just clean it up, not remove the whole thing. Well cleaning up involves plucking. So if remove if cleaning up involves plucking, then it's the same thing, sister, isn't it? Or brother? However, I would like to relieve you with one thing. In a case of extreme necessity, you're allowed to pluck your eyebrows, such as if you are happen to be a woman, and it is very rare, a woman, obviously, who has abnormal eyebrows. Then Allah does not oppress you. He allows you to pluck enough to look, make them look normal. Not to pluck them to make them look like models ink or something. And also, you're allowed to pluck between the eyebrows. Right? In the Arabic term, the eyebrows are the ones directly above the eyes. So you can clean up what's above your nose. But above the eye, this is a something which Allah takes offense to. Because as though you are altering Allah's creation, altering Allah's art. Yeah. So be careful of that. <laughs>